Hi, I'm going to show you how to start an interactive node on Bianca. And Bianca is the sensitive data computer cluster of Upmax. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the one command on this page and to show you how it looks like. Um, there's one command, um, like the general info why you would do this to use an interactive node is here. And uh, this is the command, you need to use the tool, the, the, the script called interactive. And you need to give it some parameters like dash a name of your project, dash n number of the cores, dash t duration of your session. Um, these two are actually have default values, so you can get away with this just doing this dash a and then your project. If you have forgotten your project, like me, what is new nowadays is you can go to this the like the website for the uh, login to Bianca um, remote desktop to so this website you can just go to type in your username and then if you double click here you get to see all the projects um, you have access to and you also logged in with a project so I know I logged in with this project because it was the first one uh, and this is the project you have to use in the script um, or any of the others. Um, it's just a project that needs to do the computation. Um, so I'm going to do that. So here we have me being logged into Bianca. Uh, here you see, you see the name of the project, so I could just use that. Interactive A that thing. And now I could specify a number of cores and I could specify a time. But I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, enter. So this may take a while. Um, so do you use an interactive node? Because, well, that's what interactive does. Interactive is a script that starts an interactive node for you. And you want to use an interactive node to do to work interactively on Bianca. Um, for example, uh, you want to run uh, some code and then edit the code like you're developing some kind of tool. So you wanna, uh, so you wanna modify code, run, modify, run, modify, run, and then if you use S batch to submit a job, then you have to wait all the time. So sometimes you just wanna have quick results, and then I use an interactive node. Uh, it's actually a compute node, but just for you. Um, of course, that wastes a lot of resources because, well, when you do nothing on it, you are still using it, um, but in some cases, for example, when you develop your, your software, it's very useful to do. So this takes a long time. Um, I'm not going to wait for this. So, um, so here is how it looks like. You did it. Well done.